my biggest challenge yet, I decided to turn myself into an actual Minecraft mod that anyone can download. I mean, I've already got plenty of games under my belt, but to have a mod that works anytime, anywhere will not be an easy task. The first step in digitizing myself will be to partner up with my good old friend Lock.Zip and his development team. They've made a bunch of games and mods in the past, so I knew they'd be up for the challenge in creating the Crafty Companion. Now, to call this Crafty Companion complete, we'll need to accomplish three main objectives. Making sure the mod looks like me, and it's gotta sound like me, of course, and has to act like me. Oh, and I guess it has to work, so four main objectives. I'm not exactly what you would call an artist, but honestly, I don't think this will be too hard. I'll start in this part myself. Creating the actual model should be pretty easy. Just has to look like me. I basically just have to import my skin to make this guy. Oh gosh, I just noticed something funny. My leg is rotating wrong. Wait, oh no, we've done so many maps. <laughs> I think my leg might be messed up in all of them. Nobody check, okay? Whatever, I'll just fix it and we'll get back to work on the animations. Luckily, we have so many crafty animations that we've made, so we can use some of those. Look at this cool one of me dancing. <laughs> If you see me dancing in your world from now on, you'll know why. I'm just vibing wherever I go. You, you know how it goes. But we still gotta make some new ones. We're gonna have to have all the mining and chopping and fighting animations. If I'm gonna be a good companion in the game, we also have to have the tools I'll be using from scratch. Cause it would look super lame just to see a Minecraft dude walk around with some normal animations. My companion has to be awesome! Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> but not like that. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you holding all of them? <laughs> oh, it's a bug, right? Forgot about those. That's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, there's there's gonna be some of those, I bet. Oh man, this is gonna take more work than I thought to make this mod. Well, this add-on. You know add-ons, right? Add-ons are like Minecraft mods, but they work on like all devices. And you can find beautiful add-ons in the Minecraft marketplace, including the crafty companion. Okay, so we got it to where he's holding only one item at a time. So that's good. But now we gotta make the fighting animations. I don't want him to swing just like normal. It's, it's kind of boring. I need him to be triumphant and dramatic. Yeah, this is so cool. It's already coming to life. I feel proud of my digital buddy already. Now to make it sound like me. Loud and melodious. Time to hit the recording studio. Okay, just gotta do some vocal warm-ups real quick. <laughs> the Ender Dragon has two toes. The Ender Dragon has two toes. Okay, there we go, voice plenty warm. So, I've been recording for a couple hours now, and I think I got a little carried away. Maybe it's best to start with some lines that I know are good. We'll start with some introductions. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's up, bud? Hey, man. What's up, Duder? Duderino? What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Okay, that's enough hey buddies. But in theory, that'll work if I make a bunch of iterations of greetings. I just gotta do some other ones before the words hey buddy lose all meaning. Okay, so I've recorded a bunch more voice lines. Let's see how they sound in the game. Hey, buddy. Ah, no! Hey, buddy. <laughs> what is happening? Hey, Stop! Stop! Hey. Okay, that might need to be fixed. I swear this will be the last bug we have to fix. <laughs> I say it before creating like 50 more bugs. And with that problem behind me, definitely the last. I'll need some voice lines that'll happen when the player starts quests. What are quests, you might ask? It's a secret. I'll tell you later, I promise. Okay, please work. Now when he picks something up, he should say something. Yes, it works! And when he picks up more stuff... Okay, great. Oh, wait, he's still going. No! St stop! Too much talking, Crafty! Out here yapping. That's that's what the neighbors say every time I record. Hmm. Now, now the Crafty Companion also needs to be able to be like a player in the world. So with the voice lines, I want everything he says to appear in the chat. Hey, yeah, it works. Okay, cool. That was easy. Now I need some stuff that just sounds kind of generic when I talk about items. Because <laughs> it'd be crazy for me to sit here naming every single item in the game. Cobblestone, oak plank, oak plank, oak slab, oak log, oak stairs, oak fence, oak gate, oak sign. Okay, I think I have all the voice lines I need. That just took, like, I don't know, forever. It's fine. I didn't need to sleep anyways. That's 
doesn't matter though. We did it. Worth it. Now for the hard part, the coding. We'll have to actually make this crafty act like me, which is gonna be a lot harder than it sounds because I don't even know how I act. This is where my developer friends are gonna be a huge help because I look at all the code and my brain goes, ew, it's so complicated. The first thing I want the crafty companion to do is to be able to collect resources. And our plan was basically to make a simulated character that interacted with everything. Had tools, a full inventory, yada, yada, yada. Even though this was the obvious answer, we realized very quickly it was the wrong one for a huge reason. <laughs> because he was completely destructive. <laughs> like I said before, he's gonna collect resources for the player. And what's a resource everyone needs? If you said wood, gold star for you. You did it. But <laughs> what do you think happens when I build a house out of wood and leave my companion unattended? <laughs> Yeah, he broke the whole house. <laughs> uh, no, my beautiful house destroyed. Uh, so we basically had to start from scratch and make a version that doesn't interfere with anything. My new idea was to make it so he would basically spawn in virtual blocks that only the companion would get materials from. He still collects resources, but now he doesn't destroy all of your work. <laughs> I'm still mad about that house. This way he's not breaking everything, but also we get random crazy resources from this guy too. If we wait long enough, we might even get diamonds. But I, I made them kind of rare, so it's not like super OP. Okay, uh, <laughs> okay. What, what is happening here? Oh no, the block texture is all messed up. <laughs> wait, wait, it's giving me netherite? <laughs> okay, netherite is awesome, but that's, that's a little too much, man. Let's make that rare as well. So you still get it, but it's like winning the lottery. It's like a real nice treat for being in your world for a long time. Oh gosh, we just got the last bug fix. Now this is happening. What are you doing? Why can you reach that far? You have magical powers, my guy. No, what are you doing? <laughs> How is the block mining itself? Oh, this is gonna drive me nuts. Oh, this is gonna drive me nuts. We're just gonna pretend that never happened. Now I bet you're wondering. Probably not. Is the crafty companion just some workhorse? He is just doing stuff for me. And while I'm happy to make my companion help, I also want to give him his own purpose. I want to go on adventures together. So we're gonna give him quests and goals to achieve while we beat the game. Little side quests, you know? Luckily, we already know how to do this. It's really similar in a lot of ways to the crafty MC butt map that the team made. It's so funny to say it like that. The Minecraft MC butt map. <laughs> There's no booties in it, I promise. So now my companion actually has a purpose. Existential crisis averted. He can collect stuff and give quests, but I have another idea. Don't you just hate it how dark Minecraft gets? Like caves especially? Wow, so dark, very bad. So for my own personal reasons, cause I'm scared of the dark a little, I'll make him place torches everywhere that's dark. And that way I never have to place torches ever again. Ha ha, goodbye darkness. Hello, a lot of torches. My genius plan of laziness is working. It's not lazy, it's just energy efficient, right? Okay, no, hey, buddy, what you doing there? That's, that's water. Torches don't go there, my man. Eh, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna leave him to it. I'll fix that later. We are now at the best part, making the companion a warrior. This is definitely gonna be the hardest part of making a crafty companion. He's gonna have to have a ranged attack and a melee attack and a death animation for the inevitable, you know, crafty deaths. If we're gonna make him realistic, he's gotta die a lot, so. We went ahead and made those, but we haven't tested it yet. Okay, okay. Okay, yes, he's fighting, yes, it works, let's go! Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, fight him, get him, boy! I would usually say, get him, boys! But there's only one of him, so he's just, get him, boy. Get him, boy! And now to see what happens when he dies. That sounds so dark. Don't worry, he doesn't die forever. He'll just basically just lie there for a little while, at least in theory. Let's see. <laughs> what, is, <laughs> what is he doing? He's still going, while dead. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, no, get away. Oh, God. he's attacking me now. Ah, I've made him angry. I've made him a warrior, but at what cost? <laughs> I can't say I'm a huge fan of the Crafty Companion being like a terrifying zombie, but before we fix all those bugs that I have springing right up, it's time to pit my old companion against some insane Minecraft challenges. There's no way I'd put something up for download that couldn't do that, which, spoiler alert, we did it. Just a little midway video plug. The Crafty Companion is available for download right now. We did it! I'm really proud of it. It was a huge project. It took us like two months, so it would mean a lot to me if you tried it. Scan the code 
out on the screen or check out the video description and I'll have more to say about it later, but for now, the trials. What I'm thinking for the trials is we put all the crafty companion functions to the extreme. I want to see how the resource collecting does after a really long time, and I've got a ton of fun ideas on how to take that combat to the extreme. All right, Mr. Crafty Buddy. Let me hey, right click buddy. ya, and you go mining, oh, please. There. Thank you, buddy. Do yo thing. I love his animation. Oh, it's so satisfying. So let's see what happens when I leave my companion mining here for like, I don't know, an hour. And and while he does that, I'm gonna do some good old-fashioned strip mining. And now, let's begin! I'll just strip mine. I don't even know if this works anymore in this version of Minecraft, but I'm just gonna mine in a straight line, and then we'll see who gets more resources. Here we go! Crafty versus the Crafty Companion. Who will get better resources in one hour? All right, it's been an hour. It was excruciating, but we did it. So we got 11 diamonds, which isn't terrible. We got some gold and enough for a full set of iron armor. Let's see how the companion did, shall we? What's up? He's still going, man. He's not stopping. All right, give me what you got, my boy. Oh, my goodness. Dude, he got way more than me. He got over a stack of gold. Okay, you crushed me. And now the nether. Oh, that is so nice, dude. Got all the free quartz you need. Now you can make that beautiful quartz mansion without all the work. Thank you, Crafty Companion. Now for the fun part. Let's see how Crafty does against some enemies. And let's make it a challenge. Let's do some ghasts. The main reason I'm doing ghasts is because the team actually found a bug like a year ago that Mojang still hasn't fixed. Custom mobs like our Crafty Companion actually can't normally target ghasts, which is weird, right? And it makes the nether like more difficult for no reason. Found some workarounds though, so let's see if we fixed it. He's got his bow out. Yes! Get him, Crafty! Yo! Oh, snap! We... Yes, dude! We've done it! He too smacks him. No, he's got his sword out. Shoot him with the arrows. <laughs> he's on fire, but he's crushing it. Oh, no, he's dead. <laughs> it's alright. I'll give you CPR. Well, he tried. You did good, buddy. Now for a battle of the century. Go, my army! Get him, boys! Yeah, yeah. Now we can take out the ghast army. No problem. Good job, boys. Most of them didn't even take damage. Oh, yeah, they're crushing that, dude. Get them, boys. Or get them, mees. Oh, easy. What a, an absolute slaughter, dude. Heck, yeah. Good job, gentlemen. I'm proud of you. Let's kick it up a notch. <laughs> notch? Get it? Time for the Ender Dragons. I have no idea how they're going to do. They are shooting the dragon, so that's a good sign. They are standing very still, so fire, fire breath is gonna have some issues, but their uh, their accuracy is pretty solid. <laughs> Heck yeah! Get him! It's all right. Don't worry, Crafty. Let's give him some more help, shall we? Shoot him right in the booty. Oh gosh, they just flew everywhere. <laughs> Come on, keep going, gentlemen. Our barrage of arrows. Look at our army, our crafty army. You stand no chance against us. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> nice job. Crushed it. But how do they do against the creepers? All right, let's see. Oh, gosh, he's singing at me. <laughs> so we have that happen a bunch. Let's see how you do against creepers, my boy. It works. Okay, I was not sure if this was going to work. There we go. Run away. Run away, Crafty. Okay, well, that's fine, too. He's supposed to run away when creepers are going to explode. And there he goes. Yes, it works. And it'll wipe him out before they go boom. Oh. I'm so happy with that. Okay, now I'm just curious how the Crafty stands up against the Warden. I am not confident in this one. I personally am so terrified of the Warden, so I just programmed just a smidge of terror inside of him, too. Oh, gosh, here we go, here we go. He's already shooting him with arrows. <laughs> just stayed in his ground. He is way more brave than I am. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two hit. Yeah, that was about as I expected. <laughs> uh, oh, no. The warden's just smacking him while he's down. Ow, that's, a, that's a rough place to be smacked. Let's add some more buddies in the mix, shall we? Come on, warden. It's you against my army. Yeah, we got some high ground. He's distracting him. The other crafty's coming into the mix. Come on, gentlemen. Yeah, use your swords. It's been so long. Oh, my gosh. Is he gonna do it? 
it, are, are you gonna get him? <gasps> oh, they've done it! I did not think that was gonna work! Yes! <laughs> crafty army versus the warden. The crafty army wins. Hey, guys, break it up. I'm gonna test something just kind of for fun, honestly. Obviously, the crafty companion doesn't attack other players or his crafty pals, but what if I just turn that on for a second so we can see our crafty battle? Who's the strongest crafty? I mean, me, obviously, but I'm not competing. It's time for the crafty battle dome. Who's ready? Do we have some volunteers? If not, you'll be voluntold. That's a classic thing my mom would always say. There we go! Yes, that's not good. <laughs> the battle dome commences. Which crafty will prevail? I'm voting for crafty. Crafty versus crafty versus crafty. Oh no, they're all ganging up on this guy. Come on, guys. <laughs> Leave him alone. Well, that didn't work out exactly as I was expecting, but... Oh, they, oh, there we go. There we go. They're battling. Only three crafties remain. Come on. I'm, I'm voting for the one in blue. Wait, wait, no. The one in blue. Come on. Come on. Yeah, one down. Two more remain. Oh, he's teleporting. <laughs> he just keeps smacking him while he's down. All right. We have ourselves a winner. It's slightly light blue crafty. Who would have guessed? I think we're done. I think everything works well. And the crafty companion add-on is officially finished and ready to... Oh, gosh. Looks like we got a message from the developer at LDZ. Tons of bugs! Tons of bugs? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's see what's wrong. Can't be that much, right? Uh -oh. Okay, so the companion died and... Oh, oh, they just keep attacking. Oh, come on, man. Leave him alone. Leave my poor boy alone. No. Okay, we got to fix that. And now he's shooting <laughs> shooting arrows with a sword. Oh, oh, oh. It's Endermen just hate my companion. Even if I'm not looking at them, they just swarm them. Mm, that's wonderful. Hey, buddy, real quick. Why are you walking straight into a wall? That's... That's not supposed to do that. And he just placed a torch in a cave on the opposite side of the wall. That's definitely a problem. Ah, the knocked out companion is moving again. I cannot escape this bug. <laughs> Although it is kind of funny. I, I almost wish we could keep it. I don't even know, honestly, how that one happened. And I don't even know how we didn't test that. Why are you on fire? Why? Why is your head on backwards? Are you an owl, my guy? Ah, yes, my favorite Minecraft item name. Let me just go get that for you, no problem. Ah, this bug, I know it well. It's the one where the entire game breaks and I can't resummon the crafty. <clears throat> okay, okay. <sighs> We finally fixed everything, I think. <laughs> We're so close to having this add-on ready. Come on, eyes on the prize. We gotta lock in. Now we just have to make sure it works with other add-ons and maps. Let's really test the boundaries. I'm on the Crafty Custom Hearts map, and we've added two add-ons to this, so let's see if everything works right. Come with me, Crafty, to a new dimension. Let's warp into the nether. Uh, things are looking good. Yeah, he comes with me. Okay, sweet. Except uh, Crafty just gonna die. Get him, boy. Come on, Crafty, you got it. Crafty versus a piece of bacon. Don't worry, I'll help and I'll punch him. <laughs> Take that. Probably should have brought a sword to the battle. Oh, all right. There goes the companion. And uh, there goes me. <laughs> On the nice classic dropper map. Spawn you in. There we go. And now let's drop. <laughs> oh, he, right. He spawns right next to me. Hey, go. It's your turn, buddy. You know what? Let's go down together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're not the best at this. Okay. Well, it works. Let's try out a boss battle, shall we? Come on, buddy. Get in there, Crafty. <laughs> He's following me like... Oh, there we go. There we go. Battle him. Use your sword. Swing at him. Yeah, I, I think we're, we're probably, we're probably going to lose this battle. I do have a fish I can slap him with. Is that going to work? Take my cheese. Cheese attack. Go! That's not bad. I mean, he's already taken down, but did some good damage. Oh, gosh. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm dead. Get him, Crafty. Come on, dude. Come on. J just a couple more hits. Yay! Crafty Companion actually got the last hit. All right. We take those, dude. Well, seems like things are working. Except, um, you're doing all right there, buddy? It's done. We did it. I, I had no idea how hard that was going to be when we started this, but I'm super glad we did it. I can't play Minecraft with all of you, even though I'd love to. So this is my version of being able to join all of you in your world. I'd love to hear the stories of what lovely journeys we went on together. There's hundreds of voice lines. I get to encourage you as we adventure and tell probably bad jokes. <laughs> but regardless, I am so glad grateful genuinely that you enjoy watching these videos and i'm super grateful big shout out to the ldz 
team to make this dream a reality. I really hope you like this project, and I can't believe I'm finally saying this, but the Crafty Companion add-on officially available now on the Minecraft Marketplace. QR code is on the screen, and the link is in the description. Thank you all. I'll see you in the next one.